Welcome back, duelists, to Duel Hub. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my Cubic Numeron deck profile. Numeron's a really splashable engine, so I decided to splash it in with my Cubics, and this is what I got. So, before we get into this, make sure you guys leave a like, leave a comment. Definitely consider subscribing if you're not. If not, stick to the end, watch the video, and subscribe then if you enjoyed the video but without any further ado let's get right into this all right so cubics starting things off we have crimson nova the dark cubic lord this is your main hitter right here very nasty Mostly what you're trying to do is get him into your hand and special summon him out so he can get to work. Next thing up, we got three copies of Bijan, the Cubic Seed. Very essential to a lot of the Cubic cards. And Bijan cannot be destroyed by battle. And he also is a very good way to stall because if he battled an opponent's monster you can put a cubic counter on your opponent so and when your opponent has a cubic counter they cannot activate effects or attack so b is very nice okay next up we have one gira Kelly, the cubic king Cubic names Endoria Doombolt, the Cubic Emperor, a lot of them also have other abilities at the bottom but under the right conditions you can use them. And that's your basic Cubic lineup. For those guys, we also have Duza. He's pretty much your main playmaker. Because you'll pretty much be using Duza to dump your Cubic Karma into the graveyard. Or any of your other Cubic Spouser traps. They all have secondary effects that can go off while they're in the graveyard. So Duza is your main way for that to be possible and then three summoner monk essentially turboing out our Duza so we're effectively running six copies of Duza and to finish out the monster lineup of course I'm running three Numeron wall Very good stuff right there. You can stall and also can end the battle phase if you take damage. So, quick effect and get out your Numeron network. Very, very good. Okay, next up, three cubic karma. So your main card you'll be going into to try to fetch out your Crimson Nova. Then I'm running two copies of Cubic Wave. Which help you make that push. And also while it's in the graveyard you can have the ability to place cubic counters on monsters. Your opponent controls two cubic dharma. Utility. Three foolish burial goods. 
dump whatever you need to the graveyard to make some plays happen. Absolutely need to run three of those. Okay, next up, running three Numeron Network. Our Numeron engine. Very nice. I should very much consider picking up the Numeron engine right now because it's very accessible to players and it's it's very fun and very splashable to a lot of your decks. Okay, next up we got two Numeron Calling. And one Terraforming. Essentially running seven starters cards for the Numeron engine. That's a good chance of opening it. Alright, and for the trap cards, I'm running two Unification of the Cubic Lords for that fusion play if you can get it off, and also has extending capability while it's in the graveyard. Two cubic ascension. Very good way to stall. Go into your V jump. Good defensive trap right there. And two cubic casualties. This could really stun your opponent. There's a lot of monster. A lot of the decks out right now are monster heavy, so. This really can stun your opponent, and it doesn't target or anything, it just disperses cubic counters onto your opponent. And when they have cubic counters on them, they can't target for an attack or activate their card effects. So, you could easily put this at three, and it will be very good. Cubic casualty or two cubic casualties is good. A lot of good utility there. Alright, for our extra deck, running the one Numeron Chaos Gate Sunya, number C1. It's got good banishing capabilities and burn damage. As it goes through, and I got our Numeron Gates. Number one, or our two, number three, number four, our utopic sexel. One tornado dragon. Dweller. Those are our XC plays. And I have some Link plays. Got our Relinquished Enema. Link Karibo. One Nightmare Phoenix. One Nightmare Unicorn. Track Fortress Mega Clops, part of our Numeron engine. One Boral Sword Dragon. And for our fusion, we have the one Crimson Nova Trinity, the Dark Cubic Lord. If we can actually get it to go off. Got it. One Trishula, the Dragon of Icy Imprisonment. It's fairly easy to go into. And a lot of decks fit right in here. So, very nasty, also. I should definitely consider picking up Trishulas right now, too. Very affordable. So that's it, folks, for my Cubic Deck profile. So, let me know what you guys think. 
definitely let me know in the comment section below if you guys would make any adjustments and definitely leave a like if you enjoyed this video and cons consider subscribing if you're not and until the next one this is Doha signing off